Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. And you know, on the show, you never know what to expect. So we have a special guest for you guys. And joining us on the show is a freelance fashion consultant, writer, and on-air multimedia personality, and is known as Dinola Gray. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Hi. What's up? How are you doing, bro? I'm good. How are you? Well, well, well. Good. You're looking fresh in this COVID season. Oh. As always. <laughs> Well, Thank what's you. the secret? I've literally barely left my house. I've just been like taking care of my skin and staying my 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 butt at home, to be honest. Yeah, which is like yeah. the safest <laughs> thing to do. All right, so let's get to some serious topic before we, you know, make yes. it lighter a bit. So the rape conversation is still ongoing, and the list of celebrities being called out for this hideous crime is growing by the day. Um, from Perizzi to the band comedian and BA Brimo, and we never know, maybe more may come up. What do you think will happen after this? Do you think any of the celebrities will be persecuted, cancelled, or boycotted? As you know, how the celebrity status works in this country. It's not, I think it's not even a matter of celebrity status. I think um, institutionally speaking, like mm. the, there's no, the legality of it is not even, they don't enforce it enough. Mm. And because of the patriarchal society, there's just so much um, that contributes to rape culture in this country. Mm. So there's, you know, the rape apologists, the fact that even when um, a woman comes forward and says, and, or, or a man comes forward and shares that story, mm. is always met with some, you know, um, apprehension and they try and discredit the, the the victim and stuff like that so um with all the celebrities that have been accused like i really really hope that you know um that justice is served and like the victims of the assaults also find peace as well like it's just a really awful thing i've been trying to talk about it since you know tina who uh well tina was shot by police but who was um raped in a church and it's, it's just so awful and we've been talking about rape for so long and I just don't understand how and why in this day and age when somebody says, oh, you know, I was raped by this person, there's always going to be a but, mm -hmm. what were you doing there? Like, it doesn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. So, yes, in terms of the celebrities that have been accused, um, some of them have, you know, shown that, you know, some of it is false. But then the ones that are, the jury still out, and I really hope that there's a resolution to it and yeah. all people are held accountable across the board because there's just no space for for we, we just can't allow this happen anymore it's really right. really awful right. and even people i know personally that have been either sexually assaulted or raped like i'm so angry for them and so sad for them because this entire week has been so tricky for so many people so yeah. it really is just awful I like that response, and I, I I hope with you as well. Apart from your fashion and the even the um, the your your Twitter presence and being so vocal about everything, it's it's nice that you you know you're, you're somebody that's that's also into social responsibility and really speaking out on social ills. But just before we let you go, because we don't have a lot of time, I just wanted us to dive a little bit on your write up on social media, which was Instagram to be specific. You talked a lot about. Kind of like everything, but I wanted to touch more on the movement that's happening with police brutality and everything. And I know you've had a personal experience as you wrote in the post in regards to that in America. If there's somebody watching right now that's feeling really overwhelmed with everything, what would be your advice be to that person? My advice is like honestly, collectively as a whole world, and um, there's just so much because we've slowed down a bit more attention is being brought to the right things, and so many things are going to come up, you know. Um, worldwide and racism is something that has affected black people worldwide people in nigeria or in other countries in africa may think that it's not their business but you are colonized colonization is also another form of racism you know trying to wipe out a culture and inflict your own, your own culture and, and norms on a group of people mm. that's institutionalized racism as well yeah. or trying to control a group of people with your own sense of beliefs so i will say that you know you may not always have the words and you know it's not if you don't want to speak out, like I don't, I don't believe that anyone should be shamed into into speaking because if mm. they're ashamed into speaking, they will say the wrong thing. Um, but it is something that has triggered so many people, has triggered me and my friends and the people that I hold dear to me. And it was something that needs to be spoken about because this time feels different. Everyone cannot feign ignorance anymore. It literally is all all over the world. Like everyone's talking about it and protesting in different countries. So I say take some breaks. 
unplug. Um, I'm having a no media day today. Well, apart from this, and and um, but 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 you know, also think about what it really means for you because you can't say that it doesn't affect you because it does. Yeah. Um, but you, you know, you can start within your own groups and you can start educating right. people around you on what it really means to be a black person in 2020, even within your own countries where you're not necessarily facing police brutality right. for racism. But in Nigeria, police brutality against people across the board has to end. Like, they do not serve It definitely they has to end. Thank Amen. you so much, Daniela. We don't Thank have you. enough time for this, but I hope we get to do this again. So, um, sadly, we have to go, but you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive contents by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Now to TV and in London on Ben Television. Thank you to my co anchor and, of course, our studio guest, Dana Lat. Dana Lat, thank you very much for your amazing contribution and the entire production team. I am Ifeolua Oshinke saying thank you for watching and see you next week.